God bless you. You're welcome to Reflector Hub TV, the channel that blesses lives, that inspires, lifts up the soul, enriches the spirit, and then prepares the human for heaven at last. This video you're about watching now is by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. I think he was a, a great man of God, um, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, who gave a story I once heard. He spoke about a gentleman who was rushing to get a flight and travel somewhere and the man missed the flight he was so angry only for him to hear that the flight crashed and killed the people then he got an opportunity to enter a train he entered the train and the train still crashed you see that one the devil was looking for him as a person and if you think the devil does not look for people find out the story of the madman in Gadara instead of attacking 10 cities i rather attack the one who is mandated to liberate them listen in this end time i will tell you everybody can be a victim of satan but satan is not looking for everybody there are people called choice souls there are people who have covenants men of god business people and satan has zoomed a system of attack knowing that if i get one person it is equivalent to getting fifty thousand people even by business sense, it is more efficient to look for that one person. Hallelujah. Is that not the strategy that even terrorists and bandits do? They will kidnap a wealthy man's daughter and say, remember, this is your daughter. So how much are you going to bring? Person says, 10 million. Say, you are joking. Hear your daughter's cry first. By the time you hear the cry of that little girl, say, do you know what? How much now? Say, now you are talking. Bring maybe 100 million because they understand if they kidnap his PA it will say okay one million I know where he's going to go to hallelujah I pray this prayer for myself because I know the evil and the wickedness listen my life i've experienced a little bit in this my small life you i told you my account has been hacked hacked by people like they withdrew everything on a hot sunday morning debit alert debit alert debit alert debit alert till 1000 or something was left there yes sir so there are some messages that if you don't understand now don't just learn prosperity alone learn exemption because when you rise and you don't understand exemption there are many many things that you will pay the price for are we together say amen, amen. i know someone true story who was traveling and he decided to summon courage and drive himself and he parked his car along a forest in the night just to quickly ease himself because he was pressed he came back and that car would not kick until armed robbers came. Do you think armed robbers just use guns? No. Armed robbers, bandits, all of these people, beyond the physical machinery, there are spiritual forces they have. They send these spirits before they come. But believers are dull of hearing and dull of understanding. You get up in the morning and walk into a trap with your eyes open. He said, has thou commanded thy morning? That means it's a risk to walk into a day you have not spoken to. Have you ordered things aright? Or you just walk into the day? Hallelujah. Let me give you three keys tonight. What are the keys that activate this supernatural exemption in my life and your life? Seeing that we need it as part of the tools for survival in this end time. You need it for your life as a man of God. You need it as a family man, as a career man, as a pastor. There are arrows that fly by day. There are noisome pestilences, I tell you. There are destructions that waste in noonday. And understanding your place and accessing this mystery 
mama your children leave your house in the morning and they go across the nation you do not know where they are going to if they do not understand the mystery of exemption may god forbid that someone returns back with a tragedy and they just call you to say we don't know where your child is the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said i waked for the lord sustained me because you see when men sleep many things happen listen to my teaching while men slept when men sleep many things happen in the night for instance when men sleep satan comes to sow all kinds of things exemption somebody sent me a text one day some years ago i was traveling for a ministration i woke up in the morning very early to prepare and rush to catch my flight and he said apostle don't leave i got up in the morning i saw yourself i saw you inside a coffin this was a ghastly motor accident and you died and it's not somebody who just talks nonsense i'm not talking of people who just come and send nonsense these are people with a proven track record and I know that that is the devil's plan. For me to be surprised today that the devil wants to kill me is an insult to my spiritual growth. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's, it's, I mean, it's not a thing of, 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 of a shock. If as evil as he is, he is still alive. Are we together? He may be dead that he's, if as evil as he is, he's still moving around as an illegal occupant. Has thou considered my servant Job? Said, I came around, but I could not do anything. There was a garrison that was around him. That will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. That Satan will come to your family and say, this is the family we targeted for this October. But as soon as they come, mysteries surround your family like chariots. There will be no penetration point. Satan himself was testifying. I came to Jobo, but I tried everything. There's a play that children used to play in Nigeria. They say, I pass here. Then they'll cover the place and say, no way. I pass here, no way. I pass through your finance, no way. Through your health, through your prayer life. No Hallelujah. I have seen people who as they progress in life they become shadows of themselves you know that they have not learned exemption a man who was blessed or anointed and by the time he's 40 45 you see him and you're almost what happened to you say life 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 this is why I'm teaching you this what changed what happened to your health me too I don't know Things started going wrong. What happened in your finances? My business just crashed. How about your job? I just lost the job. What happened to your children? One became an armed robber. The other one is in the prison in US. The other one just entered the prison last week in Europe. Okay? What of that one who got first class? Oh, a bike hit the person when he went to collect his certificate and he died. And you see the person moving up. Do you know why many people are not serious with God in old age? They will tell you, when I was young, I was at a Reinhard Bunker crusade. I was at a T.L. Osborne crusade. They will say, God failed me. God did not fail them. They just did not understand how the system of the kingdom operates. This is why God is teaching us this. So that you will not join the bandwagon of those discouraging people from being passionate about God. Many people today, I tell you, those who are some of the chiefest advocates, of an antichrist life were once in church they will tell you where was God when this was happening to me where was God when I was losing my job where was God when I was fasting and praying are we together now I know a lady who died two days before her wedding after waiting for many years two days before her wedding had bought wedding gown bought all these things and two days to the wedding she died I had the guy collapse to whether he died or not I don't know don't tell me that's the will of God the will of God is very clear from scripture how about someone who builds a house 
and just at the point where they are preparing for the thanksgiving he starts coughing out blood what is happening they say something has been wrong in your system for the last five years you have only six months to live in the name of jesus i speak over someone whatever will make you labor for nothing whatever will make it look like god is not real in your life i exempt you from it right now i exempt you from it right now please sit down true story they were looking for an armed robber around an airport an armed robber and that you know how security people do they there was an intel all around and somebody was traveling sincerely and they just saw the person's photo looking you know how they type it and there's a percentage uh you know those there's a percentage of resemblance or so and that one seemed very high that's how they stopped that guy there he said i'm a responsible gentleman <clears throat> keep quiet when you get to where we're taking you can explain whether you're a pastor whether you're a missionary but for now is that not wickedness are you the one who created your face somebody that looks like you stole and now they caught you for it you will not enter another man's pit in the name of jesus christ exemption Thank you for watching this video. I believe you have been mightily blessed. The Bible said in the beginning, the word. The word was with God. As you have listened to God's word, and I know that your life is greatly blessed. I would like you to drop your comment, share this video, and also do not forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell to stay updated with every of our content and posts. See you next time. God bless you.